Hey guys, Kaiser here, and welcome to Kaiser's Game Zone. And we are back with Shipwreck 64. Last episode, well, uh, we kind of blew up the island with a volcano. Didn't mean to, really. This episode, we are going to do a little something different. From what I understand, in order to actually do that ending properly, we have to do it in the 2023 version. So let's go back to 2023 for a hot minute and uh, let's do, let's do things the right way. Let, let, let's do all the good stuff. We'll go back to the original build later. Hey, oh God, I need your help. Yeah, okay, we can skip that. We, we, we can just skip all that. Let's get right, right, right into the thing. We, we've done all this. Let's go. Okay, there's Mr. Walrus. Let's get the most annoying game out of the way now. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say annoying, just the most tedious when you're trying not to move and trying to move, like, it's not annoying, it's just more tedious than it's worth. So let's, let's get this done. Being careful not to move, of course. Button, there, okay, that's locked now. So now we gotta go here, new. Oh, right, we gotta do the other door. We got a wall jumpy thingy. So, boing, boing, boing. Uh, Bucky, whoop. What the fuck? Why was there laughter there? Probably Bucky saying not to move. Okay, so I'm not moving. Wink at it. There we go. There we go. Second button. Moving on. Let's jump. Watch yourself. Don't fall like a dingus. I feel like I've done this before. Oh, wait, I have. Playthrough ago. I feel like every time I get an ending for this game, it's like a separate playthrough in and of itself. But then again, that's how this game is kind of made. So, kind of running with the punches. Not moving. Ain't moving. I love the spooky music that comes with it. Sort of. Can I? Okay. Bucky! Get up there! Thank you! Do your little flippy flip flip thing. Okay, so let's just jump on this. Get up there! Don't know why you'd even worry about going through the door here. Just press the button and go. Press the button, go, get on the boot! Hey, don't move! Don't move an inch! Okay. Just gotta move through all these Mario pipes. Seriously, they're like littered all over the damn place. You can't tell me those aren't a reference to Mario in some capacity. Let me get in the boat first. Thank you. Frick sick. Not even on the freaking boat and you're trying to leave without me. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, right, bastard. Okay. Now you just wait for the boat to leave the dock. Let's just go leave the dock. That guy totally screwed up the timing on that. Haunted music. I love it's only when it's in the dark, though. <laughs> That's freaking great. Alrighty, come on, get out of here. You'd think once you get in the boat, it would just like zoom right through, you know? You would think. Come on, let's go. Move. Come on, boat. There we go, we're done. As soon as you hear that little ding 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 ding, you know you're good. <sighs> Hallelujah. Walter's free. Yay! One thing that does kind of get me is time moves so freaking fast in this game. Like, good lord. I know that you're supposed to, like, get things done and sleep and all that. My beach. But still, you'd think they would allow you a little more time. Like, come on, people. Time doesn't need to move that fast. Or are these minigames that time-consuming? I do not know. I'm just rolling with it. Okay, there's Olive. Really sorry about last time, hon. I, I did not mean to do what I did. I had to for the sake of spookdom. It was not my intent. I still feel really guilty about that. I'm sorry. Just gather the coconuts and be done with it. At least this time I know you can smack the hell out of the trees. First time I did that, I was not aware. Smack them. Smack the trees. Give them a good smacking too. Alright, give them a good thwack. I just love the sound effect that comes with hitting them too. Like, that, 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 that's such a satisfying little smack sound. Excuse you, I am smacking the hell out of this tree. 
Thank you. Okay. There we go. Do more smacking. More smacks. I mean, if I can get all the coconuts in a timely manner, that'd be great. And then I can do Giovanni's thing with the ovens. Then I can do the wolf thing. And then, well, I can do the different thing with this game. At least with this particular uh, playthrough. There you go. Smack the hell out of that tree. Smack it, smack it, smack it. Okay, just gonna smack that tree. There you go. Yeah. Smack it, smack it, smack it. All the smacks. All of them. How many times you got to... Oh, it's three smacks, but God, it feels like you're taking forever just to smack them. All of them don't get too close. These hands are deadly weapons. They will smack you, and they will hurt. And I don't want to smack you again. I, just, I know it's such a silly thing to feel guilty over. It's just a game at the end of the day, but I still feel bad about it. Like, I still feel no guilt. Seriously, them smacks hurt. You're able to knock a coconut out of a tree with a slap. That's got to sting. Like, seriously, put Buggy Beaver in one of those freaking, like, you know those competitions where they actually have you smack a person? Like, and you see them get knocked the hell out? Put Bucky in one of those. He would freaking knock someone's head clean off, I'm sure. Like, I'm just saying, dude. It's got the smacks from hell. All right, six more of these nuts. Six more of these cocoa nuts. Come on. Smack them. Eat them. Eat them. One more. Three. I smack the hell out of these trees. Real knee slapper there, hey, Bucky. Okay, smack. One more. Come on, give it to me. Thank ya. Cool. That's 30 coconuts. That means her mini game is done. And we're doing pretty damn good for ourselves. We're making some good time. Okay, right, there's the theater. So, bing! Geo should still be awake. Save. Okay. Hi, Geo. Yep, skip to that. Let go! Okay, just gotta make sure the ovens don't burn. Okay. It's one. Two. Just run around as the organ plays the most unsettling of keys. Bing! Bang! Just get them as they go. Best you can do. Hello. Bring the other way now. Ha ha! Not that. Like, as soon as you hit them, they're good. So, as long as you're vigilant and you keep moving, you should be able to handle this no problem, from my observations. Though I could be wrong! Okay, just gotta keep on getting them. As soon as I figure out where the next one is, we'll be in business. Okay, that one. Okay, ho ha 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 ha! Got it. Okay, we're good. That's Giovanni's. We're going through this quick. He's going fast as can be. Alright, Giovanni, you can go to the boat. As soon as we get the pieces for the boat, which is the next mini game we gotta take care of, but first we gotta go to sleep for that. Not sure why, but there you go. That's how it goes. Yeah, smells like success. Yep, save. Door. Gotta go back to the beach. Ah, calming music for the night time. Calm, peaceful serenity. Always nice to have tunes like this. Reminds me very fondly of the underwater levels in Mario 64, like Dire Dire Docks, for instance. That sort of tune is so melodic, so relaxing. It's just nice. It's always nice to have tunes like that in games like this. Okay, this is not where I need to go. But that's okay. We can easily go this way. If we were going to the town hall, we would have been there. So, yeah, at least we know where we're going when we wake up for day two. Which... Off to sleep! Hello, Mr. Woof! Let's get the boat pieces. Using our supervision. Alright. Apart. Drop the part. Okay, let's go get the next one. This is all the way over here. God, they put the part so far away. Like, come on. Do we really need to go this far for boat parts? Probably, because that's the name of the game. I just gotta avoid Spooky Man. Spooky 
spooky skull mask man. He honestly is freaky though, like legit. I'm not even trying to make a joke. He is genuinely freaky. Okay, just keep moving. Get them boat parts. Get them boat parts. I gotta wonder if there's is there any other way to access that debug room from last episode like last time? Just that'd be great. That whole debug sequence threw me for a loop. I was not ready for that. I mean, cool little thing to find, mind you. Don't get me wrong, but it's spooky man. It's spooky man. I see you, spooky man. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? I see you. You better slow your roll, spooky boy. Alright, drop that in there. Come on, run. Run away from Spook Boy. I don't need to deal with Spook Boy. At least we don't have Spooky Olive chasing you as well while you're trying to do this. Uh, at least we have that. Uh, hello! <laughs> just floated through those. I just went wee right through that. That was. That was something. <laughs> Oh, and 64 related games never cease to amaze me. That's the sort of shit that would happen. Like, that could happen in, like, Mario 64, Ocarina of Time. Like, <laughs> I love goofy crap like that. Just makes a game more fun, in my opinion. Just finding those little nods and winks. It's good stuff. All right, come on. Take it to that boat. Or the parts box, I should say. That's where this goes. And we got... Uh, two more to go. So let's go for that one over there. All the way in the far corner. Whee! Oh, what? You don't want to do your little spin? I'll make you spin. Here you go. It's always fun to do a hop, skip, and a jump. There you go. Yeah, it makes me wonder if there's anything, like, hidden away. Probably not. And I probably shouldn't be dicking around with this, because Mr. Spooky Spook is getting faster, I think. That makes this so much harder if that freaking skull face son of a gun actually got faster with every boat part you collected. Just to make it more difficult. Like, he's already got good tracking, so. It wouldn't be surprising if they actually added that in, you know, like, make that little son of a gun faster. Although, not too fast, so it's not impossible. Because, as you can see, he is quite quick on his own. So, maybe not too fast. Although, now I'm just noticing it, the one is kind of clipped, so is the two. Well, then again, this was built from the ground up, so... Yeah. Alright, one more! Last piece of the boat. Alrighty, just gonna... Oh. Yeah. Whee! Okay. So, grab that little piece here. There you go. Avoid the spooky man. Avoid Mr. Spook! Avoid Spooky Dookie over there. Now, I'm gonna make sure he's away from the boat, so that way I can drop the piece in without having to deal with his spooky butt. Go away, spooky butt. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh my god, is this going to be a race to who gets to the boat parts box first? Well, I won. There. Oh, get away, get away, get away. Oh, he just disappeared. Cool. Good to know I survived. Whew, that was close. Got the boat back. Yay. All right. Now that that's over. Yep, I got it. Yep. Okay, so now we should be prompted with a choice, right? At least I think we'll be prompted with a choice. Maybe that'll come when we actually go to the beach? Like, the choice to leave or stay. So, go ahead to the boat. Yep. Yeah. So, now we get the choice. We get to leave or stay. Last time I left, so this time, let's keep exploring. Let's see what we can find. Oh, this section's opened up now. Oh, hi, Mr. Bunny Bun. Good to see you again. Yep. Well, yeah, you were disarmed given your current state of things. Anyways, let's go do Bucky's game again. Bunny, you go gather some paint. Now we'll get right to drawing. Alright, and second verse, same as the first, make sure you get all of the jars and such, or at least as many as you can, make sure the canvas doesn't fall down, and you'll be good to go. I do love that there's like a little debug door behind there, that is such a nice little nod and wink. Okay, that. Make 
make sure your canvas doesn't fall over. Because you won't know when you go behind that one door. Oh, there you go. Yep, 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 yep. Canvas up. Okay. Here we go. So now this area is just a bunch of jars, so grab them and go. Grab and go. Grab that. I grab that. I grab that. I grab that. And we've got nine jars to spare, so we have plenty of jars to use. So, wee! Alright, so we got plenty of jars, but it'll always be good to kind of explore a little. Just to see if we can find some more. Like here. Got it! Got the jar. Got more jars. Gotta make sure his canvas doesn't fall over. Gotta go. <laughs> Alright. Canvases have not been dropped thus far. I feel like I called that. <laughs> the timing on that. Like, oh, the canvas has been falling over. Bonk! Falls right on its ass. <laughs> I love that. I love on uh, like ironic timing like that. Uh, that is my favorite form of comedy. Just ironic timing. Great stuff. Anywho, so far so good. We've keeping it up above twelve jars. So now pretty much it's all about making sure the canvas doesn't fall over. So that'll be a win in of itself. All right, come on, come on, draw your thing. You got like. A hundred seconds left, which is like a minute forty. So, I, I gotta admit, this little bunny is talented. To be able to draw anything is a miracle in itself. But the fact this little bun bun manages to do it with just his teeth, like this little dude, this little this little adorable little dingus, gets all that drawing done with his teethers. Like, dude, props. Props to you, Mr. Stumble. He's such a cutie. Well, I must admit, though, it must be tough on him. Having to draw with his teeth like that. I'm surprised he never learned how to do it with his feet. You know, like, put the br brush between his toes and just kind of finagle it like that. Although that could be hard, too, just for the stretching. And the flexibility needed to do that must be challenging. So... Yeah, maybe I guess his teeth would be a good option. Although, just thinking about the pressure that puts, moving your teeth like that just... Ugh, probably not the best thing in the world. And then, of course, you also got moments like that where it, the canvas gets pushed. So, maybe... I don't know, just, I'm rambling at this point to fill the void, but seriously, this little bunny is a badass. You cannot tell me otherwise. Dude draws with his teeth. But even so... It is a curiosity, to say the least. <sighs> a few more seconds, and we are good to go. Come on. Almost there. And good. Bucky, it's done. Awesome. And we have six jars to spare. Though, to be honest, I think we got them all. Like, I think we got every single jar possible in this game. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, that's Stumbler's painting done. So, that's his whole thing done. All right, no problem, Stumbler. All right, hang that up in the theater. So now things are starting to feel a little more like last episode. Only this time we actually saved everyone as opposed to killing everyone. So, not sure if that's better or worse, but we'll see, we'll see. We will see. All right, gotta find the theater. You can see his drawings. Up. Hi, Elton. Hope you're enjoying Stardew. All right, come along. Where's the theater again? I swear, I get lost on this island more often than I like to admit. Ain't there. Just kind of roaming around. There's a big old theater. There it is. Right. Yep, Major Day, isn't it a beauty? She sees this, she'll be falling into your nubs. <laughs> Alright, uh huh. Left some lying around at the town hall, no problem. Save it! Even though it probably won't matter much. I have a feeling we're about to go do some lava hopping. Hopefully, this time I do well! I felt so terrible failing that. That was so bad. Ugh. Moving right along. 
Let's just go to the town hall and do what we can. Alrighty. You're here. There's you. Hello. Yeah, pretty bad crash. Uh huh. Secret. Whole barge. It's tucked away in a cave. The only way to it is through the volcano. Only got one shot. Alright. Alright. Let's see if we can do it right this time. Yeah, we got an island to save. I know that. Alright, just gotta take things carefully this time. Not finagle about. Ugh, I really hope I get this right. I really do. Alright. Gotta be very careful. Oh. I was doing the opposite of that. Get on it! There we go. Carefully. This is like the largest area in this game, I think. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. Oh, thank you for grabbing it, Buck. Every one of these jumps is so tense. At least he has a grab function. You'd think after getting to the boat, that would have been it, but no, I guess Squeak's decided there must be more! More to this, this little volcano thing! Okay, oop! Okay. Oop! Yep, grab that on the boat. As it tries to move away from us. <sighs> okay, I see the path ahead. Have to be very careful this time. This is where I screwed up the last time. Okay. I hate you only get one shot and you have to play the whole game all over again to do it. Although, then again, it's very N64. Whoa, 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 dude. How am I supposed to make that jump? Oh, just barely. Okay. Okay. This next part is so stressful. Alright. Oh, no. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Good catch, Buck. Alright, just gotta... Careful! There we go. Jump it. Okay. Carefully. Okay. Almost. Whoop. How many more of those do I have to do? Okay. So far, so good. I think we made it. Oh! One more jump. Made it. Oh. All right. Let's go get that boat. Oh. That was freaking terrifying. Okay. We did it. All right. Look, it's still here and intact. Let's see. Oh, oh damn. That's a big old boat. The love of twigs. It's real. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, yep. Uh, I know what to do. Bring that boat to the beach. Alright, see ya, bud. Whew. Okay. A true hero. Save everyone on the island. Cool, I got an achievement for that. And here comes the volcano burst. Oh my god! Their faces and everything! And here comes the boat! Whew. With houses and everything. How does that barge have houses on it? <laughs> I'm just questioning that now. How does a barge have houses on it? Like little homes and huts. How does that how does that work? Alright, and that's yet another ending in this game. So that's three so far. Whew. And that this is the best one to get, I guess, because we save everyone's lives. So yay, we did it. Ugh. <sighs> But we're still not done with this game, if you can believe that. Yep, nope, there's more to this game, because now we have to be an utter evil son of a gun and go back to the original build, where all the spooky stuff happens. So, yeah, let, let, let's, we're gonna have to do that next. <sighs> but even so, very least, for this playthrough, very quick one, mind you, 
We managed to do everything right. So I, I, am, I am happy with those results. So tune in next time as we finagle about and do the worst ending. Or at least all the evil things that we were supposed to do last time, but then got distracted by volcanoes. So, till then, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out social media links down in the description below. Share this video around if you are so interested in sharing the madness of this game as well as the madness of me. And a very special thanks to Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Five by Dragon, Bossmaker, Carmelo Sun, D-Wolf 1414, Hitsuko Odento, Honor Higgins, Jesse Barber 6, Mighty Chlorophyte, Nagi Oki, Dio Serra, Seth Ryan Dodson, Sonic Star 12, Sonic Star 21, Brianna Anseo, Darshan Morris, Izuka 610, Mimi Peach, Princess Funbone, Ruby the Wolf, Sir Fox MC, William Christopher Warren, and Timid Recluse. If you'd like to support the Patreon family as well as get videos extremely early as well as exclusive content to the Patreon itself, check the link in the description, it will be there. And with that said, this is Kaiser, I'll see you all next time, Bye bye